Hello and welcome to the next video in the Thermoplastics versus Thermoset video series. Here we're going to be learning about the key attributes of both of these polymers. So the structure of these slides on the left hand side we're going to be looking at the Thermoplastics all the time and on the right hand side we're going to be looking at the Thermosets. So each slide as I go through remember it's Thermoplastics on the left and Thermosets on the right. So let's have a look at some of these attributes. Molecular structure. So for the Thermoplastic it is a linear polymer. This has weak molecular bonds in a straight chain formation, whereas thermosets are network polymers. These have high level of cross-linking with strong chemical molecular bonds. Melting point. Thermoplastic has a melting point lower than the degradation temperature. Thermoset has a melting point higher than the degradation temperature. Mechanical attributes. Thermosets are flexible and elastic. They have high resistance to impact, around 10 times more than thermosets. Toughness comes from crystallinity. Thermoset is inelastic and brittle. However, it is strong and rigid. Strength comes from the cross-linking molecular structure. Polymerization, thermoplastics, additional polymerization, Repolymerized during manufacture, well, this is before processing. The thermosets, polycondensation polymerization, in other words, polymerized during processing. The microstructure, thermoset, is comprised of hard crystalline and elastic amorphous regions in its solid state. On the thermoset, it is comprised of thermosetting resin and reinforced fiber in its solid state. Thermoplastic size is expressed by molecular weight, whereas on thermosets is expressed by cross-link density. Recyclability is recyclable and reusable by the application of heat and or pressure for thermoplastics, whereas thermosets they are non-recyclable. Chemical resistance on the thermoplastics is very high. Thermosets are heat and chemical resistant. If your thermoplastic product has a crack, it can be easily repaired. Whereas your thermoset product, if that has a crack, it is more difficult to repair. Let's have a look at the process thermal aspect attributes for both of these polymers. The melting thermoplastics is endothermic. Cross-linking thermosets are exothermic. A thermoplastic has a lower continuous use temperature, or CUT, than thermosets. Obviously, a thermoset has a higher CUT than thermoplastics. Solubility. If you put thermoplastics in solvents, they will dissolve, whereas thermosets do not dissolve in organic solvents. So the big question is, which one do you select? So thermosets and thermoplastics both have a value in their unique properties. You need to consider this. You would not want tires made from thermoplastics. On a hot summer day, you may come outside to find the tires melted to the sidewalk. Thermosets are the necessary choice for this application, which requires high heat resistance. Thermoplastics, though, are much easier to process and are generally more environmentally friendly as they can be melted down and easily recycled. There is no better choice between thermoplastics and thermosets. Each type has its own use. In hindsight, thermoplastics are used wherever there is a requirement for elasticity and recycling. On the other hand, thermosets are used whenever the work calls for high heat resistance. Don't forget to check out our other videos in this series as well as other videos in our other video series. And you can contact us if you need any help with your projects in China. For more specialized information, visit our materials and processes page on the Learning Center. 
Thanks for listening. My name is Paul Adams, and I shall see you in the next video. Thank you.